Welcome, I'm Lord Kelly Thompson the Third, and this is the news. See, I've said many times before that Atari Forums is a great place to, f to find RCT3 stuff out, and it still is. I still highly recommend it. That was just a quick little note I'm putting in there. See, something weird right now is that I am not actually here right now. I am in DC right now. Yes, I'm going with my class. So, if you have any questions or comments, they're probably going to have to wait till late Monday before they get answered. Sorry about that. Funny inconvenience. I'm still looking for a new logo if anybody has any suggestions or just has one and just wants to throw it out there. And if you have a Halloween coaster, you might want to hurry because the deadline is Wednesday. Okay, well, we're going to go with the tops of the week because this is going to be a very, very short broadcast. Top series set of the week is ATH Catwalk Set. Now, this is a very unique catwalk set. It has, besides normal ones, it has steep and curved catwalks. And it also has inverted catwalks with beams that come up to hold the coaster up. It is very unique and very, it's a very good idea. Yes, now we're already starting on the top five coasters of the week. Coming in fifth place is Cyclone. Now, I'm sorry to the creator of this, but I could not get the video due to technical difficulties. I could not get the vid video for this coaster. I'm sorry. See, this coaster is a very, very well-crafted inverted coaster. It's just very, it's pretty unique. And you're twisting and turning and flying back and forth. It is very, it is a very good coaster. Coming in fourth place is Crazed. Yes, it is true. We have finally got a wooden coaster. Now you see, this is a very, this is a very good coaster because of the overall scenery. Most wooden coasters, you're just flying next to the other thing, and yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty entertaining. But this. It's like a journey through the woods, like you're right in the back of an antelope through an orange bush while cart reeling naked. Okay, maybe not just like that, but still. It is very unique. Overall color scheme is really good, and it's just really good coaster altogether. Coming in third place is Zun, the Tainted One. Now, Zun is weird, but in a good way. It's a good coaster. And it's just not what you usually see. I mean, you're riding this and you're like, wow, this is really neat. And the support structures are, they amaze me how well they're crafted and built. It's really good coaster. Coming in second place is Ruckabeer. I'm sorry if I pronounced the coaster wrong. It's hard for me to pronounce it. Anyway, this is a very, very cool coaster. Because, I mean, at first it just seems like a normal coaster. But then at one point, you start going through this field of concrete. And it's just head choppers and barely getting through. But you're completely safe the entire time. It is very unique and... I have to say this every week. If this was real, you'd be screaming your head off the entire time. I have to say it. Coming in first place is Black Panther. This coaster is so cool. I mean, the realisticness is just amazing. It has that per it has the perfect amount of realisticness yet awesomeness that Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 gives to you. I mean, it is it is just amazing. It's really hard to describe how amazing it is. It's just really good.
See, I mentioned that this was going to be a short broadcast today, and it was. Yes, it is already over. Sorry. But anyway, if you have a logo or a Halloween coaster, hurry and get that coaster in. Because I'm already lining them up right now as we speak, basically. So, that's it for the news. I'm Ron Thompson, and that is the news.